Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. A Gravity Falls theory now? When are we in 2015? And to that I would say, yes, we're officially back in 2015. Welcome! Even though Dipper and Mabel went home three years ago and their incredible summer came to an end, not every single mystery was solved. Since Gravity Falls lasted only two seasons, it makes sense to see a few unexplored directions with the story, and one of those is the Royal Order of the Holy Mackerel. Does this symbol look familiar to you? It should, because it's appeared in the Mystery Shack throughout the entire show, despite never officially being mentioned by the characters on screen. For those unaware, this is actually a secret society that stands a part of. We know the name because of the online game Mystery Shack Mystery. Still, it's strange to see that this was never actually addressed in the show, despite this symbol appearing so often. I'd consider it one of the biggest mysteries that never got an official answer, which is why making theories about it is just as fun as it would have been a few years ago. The Royal Order must have a mysterious past we've never been introduced to, which would especially reveal more about Crunkle Stan. Today we'll be diving into the true meaning behind the secret society. So what exactly do we know about the Royal Order canonically? Well, Stan's a member. His dad, Philbrick Pines, was also a member. That's pretty much all we know officially. Yeah, it's practically nothing, but that's just why exploring the hidden past is even cooler. The Royal Order was mentioned in Dipper and Mabel's Guide to Mystery and Nonstop Fun, but it doesn't offer much. Founder, next to nothing is known about this society, and I wouldn't believe it existed if my great uncle didn't seem to have so much of their stuff lying around. Dipper goes on to write that Stan just changes the subject when he's asked about it. Alright, now here's where my theory comes in. The secret society's name, the Royal Order of the Holy Mackerel, is essential in figuring out its secrets. The two words Holy Mackerel especially. Normally it's a term used when someone is surprised or excited, but in the specific case of Gravity Falls, we have to take it a bit more literally. Can you think of a fish that was somehow seen as all-powerful in the series? If you can't, I'll just tell you, it's the Exolotl. Although not appearing much on the surface of the show, background pieces of info reveal that this fish has a huge role in Gravity Falls. In fact, he's even more powerful than Bill himself. In Weird Mageddon 3, right before the Triangle Demon's official death, he speaks backwards and spells out A-X-O-L-O-T-L Axolotl, then mentions an upcoming return. In Dipper and Mabel's Curse of the Time Pirate's Treasure Book, a canonical secret page reveals the all-powerful, interdimensional entity of the Axolotl, as he talks about bringing Bill to life once again, in another form, and another time. But if you thought the Royal Order of the Holy Mackerel couldn't really surround the Axolotl because Stan never officially mentions the creature, well, just take a look at this. Literally in the first episode, it's revealed that he keeps one in the Mystery Shack. In Journal 3, Ford comes across creatures yelling, Praise the Axolotl, so already it's clear that there's something deeper going on with this than meets the eye, and the connection with the Royal Order of the Holy Mackerel should shouldn't be ignored. So right now, my theory states that in some way, shape, or form, Stan and a bunch of other secret society members have been praising the Axolotl, but this isn't where the theory ends. Take a look at the banner and it's not hard to realize the focus on Egypt. At the center is an iconic Egyptian death mask, but you may be wondering what that really means for the Royal Order. Well, can you think of a Gravity Falls character who had strong connections to Egypt? Yeah, you probably know where I'm going with this, Bill Cipher. He's literally a pyramid, he has a strong resemblance to the Eye of Providence on the dollar bill, and he's also known for some past Egyptian conspiracies. Bill also does have a connection with the Axolotl, as we've seen earlier. But what exactly does this all mean? The Royal Order worships the ancient fish known as the Axolotl, but it's hard to figure out what Bill's role is. Throughout Gravity Falls, Stan, a confirmed member of the Secret Society, acts a lot like Bill. At one point, they both mention the importance of gold for the upcoming apocalypse. Both of them are the only characters that have said eeny meeny miny you. Bill sang We'll Meet Again in the series finale, and surprise surprise, Stan sings the same song during the cipher hunt. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when. There's just a ton of parallels here, which may or may not be hinting at this secret society connection. Does that mean Stan worships both the Axolotl and Bill? Honestly, I have no idea, but these frequent similarities between the two shouldn't be ignored. The Royal Order of the Holy Mackerel potentially has a ton of dark secrets we've never known about, and there's a chance the official answers won't be revealed. But what do you think about all this? Do you believe in the theory about the Axolotl being the Holy Mackerel, along with some sort of connection to Bill? Let's talk in the comments. 
But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.